The winner of today's free huge pet is Dark Shadow. Thank you for commenting and watching all of the videos. And if you guys watching today's episode want a chance at a free huge pet, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below with your Roblox name. There's a little bit of inflation going on in the pet sim marketplace. Let's give you guys some tips and tricks going into the next update. Let's get right into it. What's up guys? My my name is D Field, and welcome back to another episode of Pet Simulator 99 here on Roblox. We're back on 99, and as you guys can tell, we've been stuck in the prison for the past week, grinding away, collecting up all of our prison keys. We've nearly got 200 prison keys on the main account, and across all of my other alt accounts, which are also farming, I think I nearly have about 500 golden keys keys that I will have to use at the end of this event. Now we're going to be doing some of our daily tasks in today's episode, a little bit of trading, but we need to talk about the pet simulator marketplace and my thoughts as to where it might be going over this next weekend. Some of you guys have already started to notice the price of some of the items raising, but before we get into the juiciness of everything, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to give you guys a quick little shout out, a quick little reminder for those of you guys who might have missed the last episode we did end up trading for this phenomenal looking titanic rainbow angelus it's actually one of the really really cool pets that does have the ability to fly worth over 100 billion diamonds all right guys all the titanics that you guys saw me using over the past couple of days they're all gone now just to get traded for this one titanic i'll probably be holding on to this one for the next couple of months because look how freaking sick it looks dude my character model is kind of floating all around this is probably one of my most favorite titanics that they've added into the game in a long long time and it kind of reminds me of the holographic cat titanic where you're kind of riding on the inside of the actual pet itself isn't that crazy now that we've upgraded the rainbow titanic shadow griffin to a black hole angelus we are going to need to start saving up some gems with only one titanic in our inventory guys our party is still looking absolutely phenomenal with all of our pop cats i've been doing some afk hatching because of this actual clan battle and as you guys can see we've gotten pretty lucky over the past week with a couple of hatches so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave your comment down below with your roblox name for your chance to win all right let's talk about today's marketplace shenanigans first things first i am going to bring my alt account over from my left monitor onto the same server that my main is in right now so hold on give me one second now i am gonna go ahead and trade away all of the past two or three days worth of loot to my alt accounts because we are going to be booth selling on that account i love showing this to you guys because some of you guys might be wondering how super drops really does end up helping with the amount of drops that you get from here and guys check it out okay with all of my pinatas and with all of the different methods i'm using we're gonna be selling the global event gifts all of these charm stones as well but man oh man does everything add up Taking a quick look into my inventory as we scroll through everything over here because I'm not going to sell everything, but a good amount of things from my main account will actually go into the trade booth alt because we need to make money, guys, in order to get another Titanic. At the end of the day, most of the items that you guys are farming for will eventually make their way to the trade plazas. I recommend that all players who play Pet Sim have at least two accounts, one of them being your main, grinding in the last area like I am here, and then one just for the trade trade alt because you need to be selling stuff every single time you are playing every single time you are online if you're not selling stuff you are not making money just remember guys there is inflation in pet simulator as well so you guys have to keep that in mind the longer you guys are keeping items for and the longer you guys are not really like spending your diamonds on pets or on you know on upgrades the less buying power your diamonds will have in the trade plazas we'll talk about that a little bit more in detail in a quick little second over here but we have nearly 300 million literally worth in items to trade away to our booth alt and not only that guys we have all these potions to add into this trade as well we're most likely going to need to do two because there are going to be a lot of items that we are adding into this trade so let me try to add in as many of these books as i can beneath here i kind of have the system down of all the items and all the books that i do want to sell already so my eyes are already peeled looking at the very very small icons and 
that should fill up this entire first trade. 375 million diamonds worth of items. We're gonna try to sell everything as we always do in our trade booth, but take a quick look at this, guys. If I trade my booth all one last time, we're gonna trade over the rest of those uh, books that couldn't fit into the actual trade itself, but my booth alt selling all of the stuff from the past couple of days also has made about a billion diamonds. Let me show you guys really quickly on the trade screen what most of those actual diamonds came from. As always, fruits tend to be a good portion of my profit. As of right now, the fruit market is still going crazy. Players are willing to pay up to 350 to 400 diamonds each right now. Just off of that alone, this is literally like 400 million worth of diamonds just in these fruits. We already have a buyer set up in line for that, so we will be doing that trade a little bit later today, but Okay, we're spending too much time on this. I'm yapping away. We haven't even made it to the trade plaza yet, but that's just some of the things that I have to do every single day, guys. I know some of you guys are curious as to all of the items that I do end up selling. And guys, when I mean everything, I mean everything. We are literally selling every single aspect of everything that we farmed from super drops, from pinatas, from opening bags. One of the main things that a lot of people don't tend to do is open like their small and large gift bags, but you guys are missing out on a lot of profit if you guys aren't opening these up manually just pop open an auto clicker click away and i guarantee you your profit will probably double or triple instead of selling these in the marketplace for wrap price all right guys let me go ahead and mute my main account over here and lower down the graphics we need to head back on into the hatching of the eggs because we need to hop on over to the trade plaza alt and talk about everything that has been going down i'm kind of quite excited and also a little bit apprehensive if I'm not gonna lie, we have zero diamonds on the trade alt, guys, with all of these items to sell. We're hopping into the trade plazas because before we list all of these items, I need to show you guys some things that I've been noticing recently, and it's kind of alarming, and you guys should know about this, okay? Currently, right now, we are saving for some more Titanics on the main account, so there is a reason I'm holding so many diamonds, but all of you guys watching today's video, look at the price of the happy computers, look at the price of the happy rocks, in some of these actual booths they have gone up nearly 10 million gems just in the past week alone we're gonna make the psa right here guys if you're watching today's video do not hold on to diamonds going into this next weekend's update you guys can kind of see there is a little bit of inflation going on right now the price of most of the basic low tier huges like the zebras the happy computers the happy rocks they are all pushing past almost 70 million in some of these lobbies and it really just goes to show how many of the main players have gone back to farming with their mains and super drops it's causing a massive increase in the current marketplace for the prices and look at this guys even up here happy computers 72 mil literally about a million or two above the rap price so let's go ahead and search up one more lobby i just want to see i want to make sure that this is not like an actual like phase going down right now just in one lobby like i've told you guys in past videos looking at the price of happy rocks and happy computers is a really good indication as to where the market is going to go just because most players who are just starting out and maybe trying to build their first team of 99 huges they will always go for the cheapest alternative which happens to be one of the pets where there's literally millions of them into another trading plaza over here look at the price of all of these low tier huges guys a minimum of 70 mil i don't see a single one right now for 60 million like look at this even the happy rocks and the happy computers are all 71 million right now let me go ahead and place my booth over here i want to check one more thing before we go ahead and end off today's video pulling up the ps99 rat page you guys can kind of get a lot of information from this actual web page itself but the entire market cap of pet simulator 99 which basically means how much money is in the game look at this guys over from the 10th of may into the 14th of may it literally went up like nearly 15 trillion a lot of diamonds are being printed and that just goes to show how many of the clan leaders and clan players are back in the last area of farming with their super drops all that means is a lot more diamonds are being pumped into the game which at the end of the day will result in happy computers and the rest of the huges kind of following suit and raising in price as well if you type in huge happy computer into this sort of tracker you guys can
can see before the update they were super chill below 60 million the update hits everybody starts farming again and boom it just raises about a million per day just to kind of match the inflation that's going on in the marketplace remember guys before the next update comes out spend your diamonds right now buy yourself up some huges now is the best time before the prices continue to rise we had a really stable segment of pet simulator 99 for the past couple of weeks so inflation is back on the menu so make sure you guys spend your diamonds i'm gonna assume that huge happy rocks might be into the 75 to 80 million range if this inflation continues into the next update now before we end off today's episode guys let me go ahead and list some of the things we have in our actual booth oh my goodness nearly 50 million in charm stones alone that we'll be able to make in profit all of these global event gifts that you guys see right here is literally about a day of farming across all of my accounts because they are farming in that last area we are collecting up these global event gifts and this is literally nearly a hundred million in event gifts man holy moly i told you guys that i would be opening these for an actual video but a lot of other youtubers seem to have already done that so i'd rather just make the profit right now and then spend it on a titanic later down the line a lot more items to sell as well a lot of keys now i'm gonna have to list the rest of my items that we did just trade over but there was a person who asked in the comments how i still did this in the current time so let me show you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how to combine all of these keys to get the most profit okay remember guys you do not i repeat you do not want to click combine all you're wasting out on money you're wasting out on profits and i'll show you guys that right now all right so first things first we are going to need to make these keys move up to this side of the inventory and the way that i do that is i box up all of my flags and i box up all of these gifts they're pretty easy to search in this actual deposit um sort of interface so i'm going to go ahead and deposit the flags i'm going to search flags one more time because it doesn't normally uh deposit all of it at once and then we are going to get all of these bundles and all of these where are they the bags right there okay i always end up missing some items so it looks like charm stones global event gifts and the rest of these bundles all right well now with that being said we should have everything oh my gosh why did i open that bundle of flags dude i clicked the wrong one i did not mean to open it and now that we've boxed up those two rows you guys can see that the keys have moved up just perfectly in our inventory so that whenever we hit f on our keyboard it will always pull up this bottom section of this inventory okay now we are going to want to combine all the crystal and all the tech so we're going to need to box up a couple of these keys to kind of make this line move down a little bit further so let's put that all those like this and then last but not least we should have everything almost perfectly lined up and guys remember please be careful not to hit all you're gonna lose out on so much profit if you combine all at the same time let me put in these crystal keys because i think i needed to shift one more little space over and boom guys this is perfect for my screen resolution it might be a little bit different for yours so mess around with it just with a little trial and error you guys will figure this out with everything perfectly lined up you guys will see that the crystal key here when i click it to combine my mouse is right over the one button already okay so it'll hit okay and then it'll open that interface back up okay so all you got to do turn on your auto clicker it will start combining now there is a chance that your inventory doesn't open up and a lot of you guys were wondering how to open it back up all you guys got to do spam your f button on your keyboard okay if you guys hear it in my mic spamming the f button allows you to just open up your inventory as fast as you can and you guys can see moving around your mouse cursor on that crystal key in your inventory even just a little bit will kind of uh make the combining go a little bit quicker or slower so mess around with it a little bit move your cursor around to the different sections of the crystal key just make sure you do not move your cursor over to where the combine all button is all right it used to be a little bit faster i might need to hop servers because this one might be just a little bit laggy but you guys can see that this process still works hit the f key on your keyboard to open up your inventory and then turn on your auto clicker look at all of the extra tech keys we're going to be receiving just from this actual method alone i hope you guys learned something new today this key trick is a hundred percent necessary for you guys to get some bonus diamonds going into the update ladies and gentlemen we have a lot more items to sell i've got a lot more keys to combine and to open in the chests to try to get some extra huges my name is d field make sure you guys spend all of your diamonds before the inflation this weekend is upon us we'll see you guys again very soon for another roblox video have a fantastic day. Peace.